If your games keep stuttering and you get low FPS or FPS drops on your PC or laptop, this video is the one for you. I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS, fix stutters and FPS drops by using a free Windows optimizer to optimize your Windows PC without any BS. So let's get right into it. But before getting into this video, I just wanna show you guys a little something. Initially, I was gonna go ahead and make a video on this LL Tweaks free utility. However, when I went ahead to download their free utility, well, as you can see, this is what I got. And judging by their responses and their overall community response to this free utility, I can safely say that it's not only garbage, it's also pretty much a malware. And since I am ranking every single free Windows optimizer, I'm gonna go ahead and put the LL Tweaks free utility into the garbage tier, making it the very first entry there. So now we can move on to this video. But today's video is gonna be about the Sinus free utility or their optimizations. This was actually recommended by a subscriber in the last video, so I'm gonna be benchmarking it to see if it's really any good or if it's just the same as any other. I try to download their free tweaking utility but the issue that I run into is that if I try to extract it, uh, well yeah, I get this error and nothing seems to work here. So I did the next best thing and downloaded all of their optimizations manually, mainly the CPU optimizations, the Fortnite optimizations and the Valorant optimizations since these are both of the games that I'll be benchmarking. If you guys want to follow along with me in this video, I'm gonna leave a link to all three of these packs inside of the description so go ahead and download it from there and let's explore this pack together shall we? Starting off with CPU optimizations. Enabling all CPU cores it wants us to go inside of this shortcut which is gonna go ahead and open up the system configuration. Now what they want you to do is go inside of boot, go into the advanced options, check this number of processes, set it to max but I'm gonna call it bullshit because this actually does nothing. So I'm gonna uncheck this, hit ok and apply because this is a really useless tweak. This unlocking of the number of processors is is only for testing purposes in order to limit the processes on boot and it has nothing to do with the actual windows performance or the performance of your games. So let's see what they got other than this. Moving on to unpack all CPU cores, of course this one is a highly recommended one and I always do it myself. So what I'm gonna do is unpack all, hit ok, apply, ok and now we can close out of this. Moving back into the pack, disable HPET. So it wants us to open up the device manager, I'm gonna go ahead and click on open and then we can scroll down until we get the high precision an event timer. I'm gonna right click on it and disable device, hit yes and now we have successfully disabled the HPET. Moving on to registry tweaks for the CPU. If I right click on it and click on edit, you see that it does the basic tweaks such as system responsiveness, GPU and CPU priority in terms of the gaming profiles and then there is the processor scheduling which sets the Win32 priority to 26, basically focusing on foreground apps. So nothing too fancy but some good stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and definitely double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. Power run isn't really needed for this and the second one is the timer fix dot pad. If I go ahead and edit this, we can see that it disables all of those enhanced timer precision and all of that stuff. So we're gonna be going ahead and running it as admin. Let's move on to the import power plan and it reduces CPU cycles. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is right click on the power run, run it as admin and then I'm gonna simply go ahead and drag it onto here. Then click on run file. As you can see, it wants me to open it. I'm gonna click on run and then it should download and import their system power plan. It's been downloaded, let's open up the power options. And going into the power options, it was automatically applied. Sign is power plan, you're officially on the best plan, that's what they say, not me. So let's close out of this, let's move back and open up the disable startup apps. So it basically wants me to go ahead and disable any of the startup apps simply from the task manager right here. As you can see, I have disabled pretty much all of them, except for this one, let's disable this as well. And that's it. Now we can close out of this, move back and the final one is the CPU BIOS optimizations and for this one they want you to buy their service which I don't recommend so let's move on to the second pack and that is Fortnite optimizations. First one are the Fortnite settings and they just want you to apply the best Fortnite and Epic Games launcher settings which I believe all of you have already applied including me. Let's skip this and move on to the power plan which is once again the same one that we have already imported so let's move on to visual tweaks. Let's open up the visual performance tweaks and from here as you can see I have pretty much applied the best settings already. You can go ahead and disable a few more if you want, but to be honest, this does not make that much of a difference. I mean, I have tested with the best for performance as well as this one. There's a very 
minor difference and that too on just the very low end PCs so I wouldn't really recommend unchecking anything other than all of these ones that I have unchecked. Then hit OK and let's move on to the registry tweaks. So this does say Windows 11 registry tweaks but I'm sure they work for Windows 10 as well. So let's see what's inside of them. And judging from here most of these are just the app permissions, some searches as well as a bit of mouse and the same D words for the Win32 priority. And yeah you can go ahead and read through all of this. These are pretty much all of the basic tweaks and nothing is suspicious or anything that I wouldn't really recommend. So we're gonna close out of this, double click on it, hit yes and hit ok. Let's move on to the Nvidia control panel. Well unfortunately I have an AMD GPU so this isn't really any useful to me. Skipping this let's move on to MSI utility. So with this one those of you who don't know what to do simply right click on it, run it as admin and once this opens up just go ahead and make sure to find your graphics card then check the MSI box, set the interrupt priority to high, hit apply and close out of this and that's all. Moving back the final one are once again the BIOS settings and this time we actually have a document inside of here. So if you are an Intel user go to your BIOS and change all of these settings and for the AMD Ryzen users simply go ahead and use these settings. And yeah these settings are actually pretty good. I do highly recommend that you go ahead and follow all of these. Go into your BIOS I cannot record my BIOS and then come back to follow along with me or you can basically go ahead and leave them for the end. That's it for the Fortnite optimizations. Let's move on to Valorant optimizations. First thing inside of here are the Valorant optimized settings which of course you may have already applied if you haven't go ahead and watch a video on them because we're not gonna be covering those inside of this video. Then the custom power plan I assume it's the same one once again. Let's skip this registry tweaks. Let's see if there are any others or if it's the same thing once again. So going through this I'm pretty sure that it's the same thing once again with just a bit of different name. So yeah I'm not gonna be going ahead and applying it once again. I don't want to rewrite those ones over and over again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this one and a lot of these have already been covered in the previous ones so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to uninstalling game bar so I'm gonna right click on it click on edit and as you can see it's just gonna go ahead and remove all of the xbox apps so if you don't really use them or need them you can go ahead and remove all of those by simply right clicking on it and running it as admin so let's go back and move on to network settings I'm gonna open up the device manager once again let's go on to network adapters right click on your adapter and go to properties under the power management make sure that all of these are unchecked then under the advanced the only things that you want to change are this ARP offload auto disable gigabit this one this one simply go ahead and copy the values that I have and then you want to go ahead and do this one receive buffers and that's basically it then click on ok your network may restart and you can now close out of this moving on to the mouse optimizations so both of these will basically help with mouse acceleration and fixing the mouse input so yeah we're gonna be going ahead and applying these running it as admin and once this one is done we can move on to applying this one and yeah let's move on to the startup apps once more and this time along with task manager they also gave us auto runs since we have already used the task manager option let's go ahead and run the auto runs as admin so this if you don't know is actually an advanced app that is used to disable all of these startup apps any scheduled tasks any services whatever that you want to disable from starting up with your windows so for this one i recommend going into the logon and then unchecking anything that you don't want to start with your windows such as this this and i have pretty much everything else that is unchecked then we can move on to the scheduled tasks and do the same thing inside of here and finally go inside of services and make sure that you go ahead and disable only those services that you know you won't be using and once you are done with that you can close out of this and we can move on to the bios settings which are once again the same settings and finally they've got the advanced plus hidden optimizations and well of course they want you to buy their service which once again i do not recommend because i have looked at their services and they are pretty damn expensive if you're gonna be wasting the money go ahead and waste it on something that i don't know maybe you won't regret but yeah that's it for all of these optimizations let me restart my pc and then i'll hit you with the benchmarks so moving on to the benchmarks in fortnite the average fps went from 220s to 210s meaning it decreased by 10 fps while the one percent lows went from 150s to 140s making it the worst optimization for fortnite moving on to valorant the average fps went from 230s to above 300 while the one percent lows also improved going from 140s to 180s which is pretty impressive so where do i put this judging from its performance in both fortnite and valorant well i'll have to put it into the very low good tier i was actually gonna go ahead and put it into the mid tier until i saw its improvements in valorant so i wouldn't really recommend this to fortnite users for them i'll put it in the garbage tier but then for the valorant users i would recommend using this so if you 
play Valorant then go down into the description, download the pack and use it. But if you want to get even more FPS inside of your games then go ahead and check this video out right now.